Today, I've decided to put myself through something that I've never seen done before. Can you beat Ultra Kill? With dementia? I started by loading into the first level and breaking a few planks. After which, I went and broke a few planks and learned about dashing. In the next room, I found a few enemies that served as the introduction to the punching mechanic. Once I collected their blood, I went to the first level. As I was loading into the first level, a thought occurred in my mind. Would it be possible to beat Ultra Kill? With dementia? I started by loading into the first level and breaking a few planks. Shortly after the intro sequence, I broke a few planks and got my first gun. I quickly got through the first three enemies, but then I noticed that they were getting awfully close to me. So I checked to see if there's any melee attacks I could perform, and there were. I could punch. I quickly dealt with the first three enemies, and then in the following room, I learned that I could break some planks. Before I knew it, we were at the first boss of the game. He shoots a volley of projectiles and explosions, and can be easily taken down with a- After loading into the second level, I remembered that there was a terminal that you could use to purchase the Marksman, which is a variation of the pistol that you could use to throw coins and deflect your shots into enemy weak points. Uh, today I wanted to complete a never-before-seen challenge, so for the first time, can you beat Ultra Kill with Dementia? To answer this question, I would first need a gun. So I went over to the weapon terminal and purchased the Marksman, which is a variation of the pistol that you can use to throw coins and deflect your shots into enemy weak points. This weapon I'll surely be able to get through the second level. After making swift work of the first few enemies, I went to the first room and made swift work of the first few enemies. After defeating the enemies, I found this spiral staircase, and was greeted with a stone wall at the end of it. Although, it seemed like my current weapons weren't strong enough to break it, so I went back down and went to the next room. They had corpses of enemies that I haven't seen yet to serve as foreshadowing. Unfortunately, I couldn't find where to go and had to backtrack, which is exactly when I found this spiral staircase, and realized that my weapons weren't strong enough to break this wall in my way. So I turned around and went back down the staircase to look for a better weapon. I managed to find this boss room, and inside I had to fight the swords machine. In this fight, I had to use the shotgun, which has the special ability to fire explosive cores and destroy terrain. After wandering around for a while, I managed to find the boss room, and inside I had to fight the swords machine. In this fight, I had to use the shotgun, which has the special ability to fire explosive cores and destroy terrain. After completing this boss fight, we are awarded with the shotgun, which has the special ability to fire explosive cores and destroy terrain. Moving on to the second level, I decided I really needed a new weapon, so I went and purchased the marksman. However, to my surprise, I already had it, and for those of you that say I cheated to get it, or I used an already completed save, I didn't. I don't cheat in these kinds of challenges because that would defeat the point. You see, for the longest time now I've been wondering, can you beat Ultra Kill? With dementia? To answer this question, I would first need a gun. So I went over to the weapon terminal and I purchased the sharpshooter, which is a variation of the revolver which can fire bullets that deflect off surfaces and destroy projectiles. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to survive this room, as it was quite overwhelming with the amount of projectiles flying around. So, next time around, I came up with a plan. I went over to the weapon terminal and I wanted to buy the marksman. However, I already had enough credits to purchase that gun. So it seems that it has purchased it for me. And for those of you that say I cheated to get this, I didn't. I would never cheat in a challenge because that would defeat the purpose. Moving on to the first room, I was surprised when the enemy spawned behind me as I was walking by. I quickly got overwhelmed because they all caught me off guard. So after I respawned, I walked into the room ahead. But something unexpected happened this time. The enemy spawned behind me. I got a bit overwhelmed, but I managed to keep my cool, and in the end, I managed to come out on top. You see, it's about time that someone finally asks the question for the first time. Can you beat Ultra Kill? With dementia? To start off this challenge, I decided to go and buy the Marksman, but strangely enough, I already had all the pistol variations. But I only just started. I seriously don't know how that happened, and no, I didn't cheat these in. That would defeat the purpose of the challenge. Maybe I accidentally loaded into a previously used save slot, but even so, it shouldn't affect this challenge too much as this is only the first level. But, for the sake of doing things right, 
I'm going to restart from the beginning from a new save file and grind to this point. But for now, my head is really starting to hurt, so I think I should just upload part 1 while I'm dealing with this headache. Because tomorrow, I'm going to be attempting a challenge that I've never seen done before. Can you beat Ultra Kill? With dementia? Tune in tomorrow on June 29th, 6pm CET to find out.